Good evening, I'm Kurt Gugsell. Baseball last night, Southridge shuts out Princeton 8-0 at Gil Hodges Field. Keaton Allen pitched a complete game three hitter, fanning five. Raiders had 10 hits and swiped seven bases. Tate Whitehead, along with brother Roland Whitehead, had two hits each. Blake Taylor drove in two for the Raiders. Southridge's game at Boonville washed out. Northeast Dubois 6, Pike Central 2. Jasper's game tonight in high school baseball rained out against Evansville Harrison. They'll have to make that up at some point. It's a SIAC game. Softball last night, Jasper Blanks, Owensboro Catholic 3-0. Brianna Barracks homered for the Wildcats in the leadoff spot in the bottom half of the first inning. Big League Baseball tonight, the Cubs and the Braves in Atlanta. Jamison Tyon versus Chris Sale. Cubs were shut out last night, 2-0. Cardinals in Anaheim once again against the Angels. Sonny Gray against Reed Detmers. Cardinals won the series opener last night. The Reds' struggles continue. They have dropped 11 out of 12. They're in Arizona again tonight. Hunter Green versus Slate Ciccone. The Pacers hoping to take their first lead of the Eastern Conference semifinal series with New York after winning back-to-back -back games at Cambridge Fieldhouse. Indiana visits the Knicks for Game 5 tonight at Madison Square Garden. The best of seven second-round series is currently tied at two with the home team winning each of the first four games. The series will shift back to Indianapolis for Game 6 on Friday. It's the start of the WNBA regular season. The Indianapolis Fever, or Indiana Fever, hope to start the year off with a victory. They're on the road to visit the Connecticut Sun at Mohegan Sun Arena. Indiana hoping to turn things around after having the number one pick in each of the last two drafts. The Fever selected Aaliyah Boston in 2023, and they, of course, selected Caitlin Clark with the top pick in this year's draft. Mark Mitchell was introduced yesterday as a new head coach of the Indiana State women's basketball program. He comes to the Sycamores after spending the last two seasons at the University of Indianapolis. Stay tuned. We'll have more right after this.